I join you beside the sword in the stone, also known as a roll of packing paper. But today it's our sword in the stone. And it is said by the great sorcerer Merlin that whoever plucks this sword from the stone will become the next true king of England. Many knights and brave soldiers have tried, but none have succeeded. The sword is stuck. Right? No one can pluck the sword from the stone. Okay. So, yeah. This person just plucked the sword from the stone. Right? And that person just became the king of England. Now that's how the story goes in our book today, which is the story of King Arthur and his knights by Howard Pyle. Now Howard Pyle isn't the one who actually wrote this story because this is in fact a very old story. It's one of our classical series novels. Um, you, might, you guys might have heard of the story of King Arthur and his knights, but this is a beautifully re-edited and transcribed version. Obviously the old versions are written in Old English, so you can barely understand what they're saying. So if you want to read the story of King Arthur and his knights, read this one. But anyway, basically this follows the story of King Arthur King Arthur, would you care to make a reappearance? Great. Hello. Hi, King Arthur. Bye, King Arthur. No. Anyway, we have King Arthur and his magnificent journey as he plucks the sword from the stone, thereby declaring himself King of England, and then he starts gathering a truly brave kind of table of knights. He forms the round table, where the table is round and the knights sit around the table, and King Arthur stands uh, above the table, obviously, and he commands those knights, but those knights are as equally brave and as strong of warriors as King Arthur himself. And he and his warriors, he's, his knights, his brave men of, you know, gallant spirit and chivalry, seemed almost unbeatable until they begin to fall out amongst themselves, and they go on some truly amazing quests but all quests must come to an end, and this novel, I think, beautifully explores the time-old story of what happens when the quest ends is very, very meaningful in this story. So if you want to learn about, you know, knights and kings and shining armor and beautiful queens and princesses and damsels in distress, read this book. But also, if you want to learn about what happens, what knights do when they have problems about, you know, not necessarily a monster that needs to be slayed, but knights that need to be saved, knights they disagree with, kings that they do not uh, want to follow, love that they feel is, um, goes against the rules of society, you also want to read this book because it's really, really in-depth, meaningful, very, very touching at times. Read the book. Thank you. Thank you. Go away! <laughs>